So let's stop to do our meditation for this evening. Is really to um, get, I would say, get complete with our family members. So it is really a ho'oponopono um, ceremony that I'm going to walk you all through to cut energetic cords or energetic ties with your family. And the reason for doing that is because our family has um, been with us for as long as we can remember whether they are whether our family members are still alive or not they are still with us energetically they are still in our energetic field so when we cut the energetic um, linkage with them we actually are able to clean to do a clean up so that when we think of them again we can actually establish a new and um, clearer and more authentic connection with them if that is what we decide to do. So let's do that. So start to sit or adjust how you want to sit or to be for the rest of this meditation so that you can be comfortable for at least the, the next 10, maybe 15 minutes. So shift your body around, um, flex your shoulders, whatever it is that you needed to do in order to get comfortable. And then next is just to follow your own breath, to breathe in easily and effortlessly. And then when you can breathe in no longer, then let your breath go. And then do this a few more times to follow the natural rhythm of your own breathing in and breathing out. And as you are doing that, start to turn your attention inwards. And then start to shift your focus and your attention into your heart. So an easy way to do that is just to imagine that you are getting into this energetic elevator. And when you get in there, you look for the button that has the shape of your heart and just press that button and allow that energetic elevator to close its doors and start to shift from the top of your body, from where your head is, to start to move down towards your heart and to allow your attention to start to shift with this energetic elevator to go from your head all the way into your heart. Just imagine this transition from your head into your heart, from your mind into your heart. And when you're in your heart, just imagine this energetic elevator opening its doors and you simply walk out and all the way in your attention to be shifted into your heart and just feel what it feels like when you focus on your heart. And when you're in your heart, simply think of or send an energy beam 
to Mother Earth. The consciousness of Mother Earth is in the middle of Mother Earth, where there is a brilliant crystal, and this brilliant crystal holds the consciousness of Mother Earth. So send love to Mother Earth and feel the support and strength of Mother Earth coming back to you, giving you the support to do the rest of this meditation. And at the same time, send a beam of love to Father Sky, to the sun, to the star of our solar system. And with this Beam of love, get connected with the consciousness of Father's guy so that your soul is connected to your heart and is connected to the consciousness of the playground earth that you're currently residing on that your vessel is currently residing on. And also, bring in the consciousness of source that has been filtered down through Father Sky so that you, within you now, flows all the support that you needed in this moment. So in this moment, be connected with your soul. Feel that connection between your heart that is connected, energetically con connected to your soul and also energetically connected to your higher self. The part of you that is eternal and is beyond time and can see past and future and can access all dimensions and knows the you, the real you and so be connected with this expanded version of you. And when you are connected to this expanded version of you. In your mind's eye, in your imagination, invite your parents to come forth and join you. Imagine your father and your mother appearing in front of you in your imagination, whether they are still alive or they have passed on, it does not matter. Just imagine them being there. Request for their presence. In order to do this Ho'oponopono, Ritual. This is a ritual of cleansing, a ritual of reuniting you with all parts of you. So, first, turn to your father. Thank you, Father.
Thank you for all the experiences that I have with you. And if there is anything particular that you want to mention, now is the time to tell your father the things that you have never been able to say to him face to face for whatever reason. Now is the time to be authentic and vulnerable, to say the things not because they need it to be said, but because you want it to be complete. Whatever it is that you needed to say to them, in order for you to be complete with this version, this particular memory of them. And now is the time to let them know. And simply invite the consciousness of Mother Earth and Father Sky to support you energetically in this conversation. Empty out all that you needed to say to them. It does not matter whether you are saying it calmly or whether you are saying it emotionally. However it is, just let those words come out. They may not be the truth but they are your truth. So speak your truth. And thank them for the experience. Thank them for this conversation thank them for coming for being present to receive all the words no matter what it is that you have said to them they have received it now And now in return, if you need it to hear anything from them, then now is the time to ask your questions. Ask for what you need from them. It does not mean that they have to agree with you. You just have to ask it. Because you are now the adult that is asking for what you need. What you need to hear And just by asking, you can release that desire and let it go so that it's no longer stuck within you. It is coming out so that you'll be done with it. And if there is anything else that you need to say, 
then do so now. And now that you have said everything and you have asked everything, and set the intention that you're now done with this memory of your father. Thank you very much. This is done and over with. And with that thought, let your the image of your father start to leave and drift away. So that it is no longer there, no longer in your mind's eye, no longer a part of your imagination. And if you need to remember your father again, then this time, remember your father from the beginning as who you are now, as the relationship between two equals. And now turn to face your mother. It does not matter whether your mother is passed on or whether she is still alive. Turn to your mother and say to her all the things that you needed to say in order to get complete with her. And if you need to ask your mother anything, then now is the time to ask it as well. Ask for questions. Ask for what you need. And have no expectation of whether she will give it to you or not. Just ask. Say whatever you needed to say to your mother in order to get complete. And after you have said everything that you needed to say and asked all the questions, Ask for all that you need to hear. And now is the time to get complete with this version of your memory of your mother. So allow that version of your relationship with your mother to simply dissipate into thin air. And should you want to establish a new relationship with your mother as an adult, as an equal, then 
Now is the time to choose it again. And now let's ask the next group of your family to come join you. Ask for your siblings, whether they be sisters or brothers. Ask them all to come and join you in your imagination. First, turn to your brothers. You may have more than one brother. Just turn to the person that you want to talk to first. And say whatever it is that you needed to say to your brother or brothers. And take your time with each one of them to say what you needed to say in order to get complete with them and to ask any questions or for anything else from them in order to get complete with this memory of your relationship with your brother or your brothers. Take all the time that you need to say all that you needed to say to all your brother or brothers. And when you're done, then it's a time to let go of this memory of your relationship with them. And so imagine your brother or brothers starting to drift away and dissipate into thin air. And know that it does not matter whether your brother or brothers are still alive or not. The relationship is still alive in your energetic field. And this is simply to get complete with them, to allow those old memories to leave and be done with, so that if you wish to, you can establish a new relationship with them as equal as who you are right now the creator of your life, equal to everyone else. And now turn to your sister or sisters and do the same. Say all that you needed to say to them. Ask all the questions that you needed to ask in order to be complete with all of them. It 
it does not matter whether they are alive or not. Ask all the questions. Ask for everything that you need or felt that you need to know or to receive from them. Have no expectation of what their response may be. Simply get complete with them. And when you have said everything that you needed to say and ask all the questions that you needed to ask, now is the time to let go of all your sister or sisters. Let go of this version of your relationship with them and allow them, allow your imagination of them to simply dissipate and drift away so that they are no longer in your imagination. Should we choose to establish a new relationship with them, then choose to relate to them as who you are right now, an adult, an equal, the creator of your life. And now invite your children to come and join you in your imagination. Whether you have one or many or none at all, Say all that you needed to say to your children individually. Ask all the questions that you needed to ask of them in order to feel complete. And if you don't have any children, but you regret this fact, then speak to this part of you that are still holding those regrets. And get complete with that part of you. When you have said all that you needed to say to each and every one of your child or children, when you have asked all the questions so that you can get complete with them, now is the time to let go of this memory of this relationship that you had with your child or children. See your child 
our children start to dissipate and drift away. And know that should you choose to establish the relationship with them again, now is the time to think about them, to think of them as who you are now, as the creator of your own life, relating to another creator as equals. And now invite in, into your imagination any other family relationships that has not been mentioned so far. Maybe your spouse, ex-spouse, uncles, aunts, any and all that you wish to get complete with. Invite them all and do the same with them. Say all you needed to say to them to get complete. Ask for what you need from them in order to get complete. It is okay to speak your mind and be vulnerable because you are the only one who knows what happened between the two of you. So do this. Do this and get completely unburdened and allow past relationships, past family relationships, be complete. And when you have said all you needed to say to them, you have asked all the questions and all the things that you needed from them without any expectation. And now is the time to allow each and every one of these family relations to start to drift away and dissipate into thin air. And know that what you have let go of is simply past and old relationships with them. And now you are free, emotionally free and energetically free to re-establish the relationships that you choose to from one creator to another as equals. And now, last but not least, surround yourself in this brilliant white light that has been energized by the consciousness of Mother Earth and Father Sky. Simply call on their energy to surround you. Burn away any unfinished business with your family members, anything that you might have missed. Allow for those supportive energy to 
is simply take those old relationships, old stories that you're ready to let go of so that you can regain and remember who you truly are as the eternal source living in a body, living in this vessel and having an experience on Mother Earth. So breathe in this new awareness, breathe it in deeply and let it go. And breathe it in again deeply and let it go. And do it a third time, breathe it in and let it all go. And now, when you're ready, you may come all the way back into the room, feeling refreshed, feeling energized, and feeling light. Thank you for joining me this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you.